Coleman tried and there's the tap out. Shift position. And that's it. Coleman hand by Carley doubles up on the right. Oh, he's going to be it. I think he's got that. He's out. And the key here, if you're on the ground, Don, is not to panic, correct? There you correct. Go. You want to stay calm at all times. And you would think that maybe you could get hit there, but the only portion of Dan Stewart's head visible to Coleman is the top, and that's a bare hand going against the skull. And as we've seen at the UFC, that usually results in a broken hand. Not a now Severin punching from the ground. Not a good area to hit. Those were little rabbit ones trying to get Coleman to move. Shift position. And that's it. Coleman got it. Coleman shoved him out. And Severin tapped out. Early, early on, it, it may look like an eye gouge. It's not an eye gouge. Severin just has his hands on the face trying to push it away to create distance. But it was right then that Coleman was able to lift that head up tall. You saw Severin's hand move to the side. And that's when he tapped out. Right here, Seven tried to turn to his belly, and there is when he exposed his head fully, and that's when Coleman cinched it tight. A strike, or he follows one of his own punches in and then goes underneath to take the big man down. Coleman lands a left hand, quickly shoots it down, goes Sanchez! Oh, Sanchez is going to be in trouble here. Oh, Coleman man. landing a right hand, another He's right hand, look out! Face. Oh my! Come on, look! He's going to go for a choke right here. Going for the submission. Coleman looking to end it quickly. Another punch to the face. Walk out, Julio. Walk out. Let's go. Coleman tried it. There's the tap out. That's it. It's the same kind of finish you see in wrestling. It's the best to expose the shoulders, lift the head, put the chin Ladies in the navel, and, and it really is an effective choke. It took only 44 seconds. Oh, I don't think Sanchez man. was equipped to deal with Coleman. It is, is it a second for Johnston. Coleman finished sixth in the Olympic trials. He beat Mark Kern. He lost to Dan Shade. And he's got Johnston now up against the fence. This seems to be a new tactic here in UFC 11. Everybody's pushing their opponent into the fence once down on the ground. Keeps him from sliding once you create a distance, then you have opportunity. There's a right hand, another right hand by Carly, doubles up on the right. Oh, he turn his back, that's going to be it. That is all. You know, once he got on the ground, you're right, it just didn't look like he thought he could win. No, no, all, from this position on, he really is just going by instinct. I don't think he really knows how to competently defend himself from down there. And as we saw before, Coleman will throw punches while on the ground. Headbutts, elbows, punches. Uh, here you can see Johnson's totally defenseless down there. Here's the cardinal mistake to turn over on your stomach. There's the celebration. That's a good shot. Almost to throw a knee here to, to the top of Allen's head. There we go. There it is. He's not going to be able to take too many. Oh, he's knocked out. He, is he knocked out? I think he's, he's out. out. I think he's knocked out. He's out. He's out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, before he fought Coleman. Here we go. Look at this. Look at the strength, the, the, the punching power also to the body. Now, Allen made an elemental mistake of crouching, getting back up, going on all fours position. He should have stayed in the guard. Because yeah, here he comes. Where the knee comes. Run. And he's all, now he's out. Now he's out. And this is our only expert knees. Oh my god, that's dangerous. Referee he's side. out right here. He's out. Completely out. Yeah. Coleman well, knows he go, goes for that double leg. Sitaki tries his fall, and there it goes, Coleman with a sick double leg takedown right into Sitaki's guard. Going for that neck crank. Sitaki trying to push his way out. Sitaki could be in some trouble here, although I believe that he must have been coached by Maurice in the same attack. It looks very similar to when Coleman fought Maurice. Oh, yeah. Got to weather a big storm right here. Coleman trying for that neck crank. Sitaki tapping out on a straight neck crank. Mark Coleman, and here it is. Coleman is just waiting for that shooting opportunity. Takes the double leg takedown. Coleman, a former Olympic wrestler, very hard to stay on your feet with that man. Goes to the neck crank immediately. 
Sataki pushes his way out at first, but then Coleman just grinds away, a couple punches to soften Sataki up. In order to get out of that, you need to drop your guard and then push your butt back. This releases the pressure, but uh, an inexperienced person don't know this. And he goes for that neck rank, yep. and he gets the tap out at 1 minute and 14 seconds. He wants the most. It can be 10 hours. I won't be here that long. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, there he goes. He's passing the guard into the side post, mount again. Post between, the corner. post between you and I him with your left. Anytime soon, uh, post between you and him with Shimada your left. will be resetting them for the uh, yeah, center of the up. ring. Yeah. They're going to get all tied up and connected on the ropes. People are going to leg up on the now. Now, this is a bad position because Mark can throw that knee. Oh, this is a bad position for Eagle Hope oh, Champion. Okay. This is Mark Kerr and Eagle Champion. Oh, yeah, oh my god. It's the opposite because. Yes. Because. Uh, well, Chip was about to come back. Bring him right. straight down. 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 Many people would have quit the sport and gone back to wrestling or done something he else. But he's stuck it out, yeah, he did. learned the game Boom, again, got good training, and now he's back at the top of the mixed martial art heat. He's number one right now. He's number Eagle, one, man. He's number one. He beat the top fighter. Yes, he did. He beat Eagle Mokjansen. Mark, Mark Coleman is <laughs> number one right now. That key also helped him. He grabbed right onto the key. Goodrich is now in some trouble. Coleman lands a barrage of right hands. None of them real clean. None of them the real bomb that he was looking for. A couple got through. There's a knee to the head. Just keep it at bay. A pretty good tactic. Again, he's mixing it up with both lower and upper body strikes. This is the concept of look for the choke. Now he wants There it is. It's a tap out. He got him. Again, this time he faces him. And they break away, get back to a standing position. And Goodrich looked very focused. He had a sense of what he wanted to do here. Wanted to turn it into a boxing match. But instead, it ended up back on the mat. Look at this double leg. It's textbook. Takes him down. And after that, he was able to utilize his grappling skills with a little bit of punching power thrown in. Here's the tap out. Watch Goodrich closely. He's looking for the choke. He sinks the arms in, and Ed Goodrich at that point said, no mas. It's not like the best trying to get back to his team. That's what you want to do when you pass the guard. You use every weapon as it comes to bear. He concentrates on your hands, bring your knee up. Choke, choke, choke! Lawrence dies into those legs. He's got very good kicking ability. But somewhat neutralized when you're in that type of defensive posture. Well, he's elbowing what appears to be Coleman's right thigh. Oh, right hand that's hand. Hand. Coleman, a couple of bombs to Hornstein. Bruce Beck, Jeff Blattnick, and oh. Dan Severin, octagon side in the UFC 10. Short left knee by Coleman there. And he's got to be way ahead on points with the fighters' cards now, and I think he knows that. So he's probably here now going to start to... Uh, He's got to be, he's fatigued. And look at him, he's still going after him. He's showing the heart of the champion. I thought he was just going to kind of cruise there for a while, but he came right back and started throwing punches again. Short left hand by Coleman. That's part of the, 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 the wrestling practices that they're, they're used to going through, just long grueling practices. Yeah, I mean, when you're tired, you can hardly stand. You're still out there pushing and pushing and continue to go for the technique. This is pride now and heart, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, both competitors are digging down deep. Well, Fry will get a break if he gets to the 15-minute mark. Give it up, give it up, give it and that is all. Big John McCarthy. Coleman looking for the takedown and has his back momentarily and then quick oh, a there by Shogun and quickly puts it into a triangle and slams Shogun down. Let's go, let's go.
got to pace himself. He cannot spend too much energy. He's looking for an armbar already now. If he can get underneath that. Oh, leg lock. He's going for a leg lock. Knee bar is coming up. A lot of people to get believe it. the Don't submission hold. defense of Hammer House oh. has always been their Achilles heel. Shogun continuing to work on it now. Yep, and he's wearing shoes. And Coleman escapes nicely and gets the takedown on Shogun and has it back. Unbelievable! On? Coleman is just... Oh, no, an injury. Something his, happened. His elbow was dislocated, hyperextended. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. We've got problems here. Nothing. Nothing. He can't shoot. Oh, they threw in the oh, towel. Oh, they threw in the towel. Threw in the towel. Why? 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 Uh, he just so made it. Made, made it a tip. Brian Johnston, uh, Fujita's corner man, seeing that Fujita was in incredible pain oh, trying to shoot, threw in the towel. Yeah. Uh, they could have maybe just done it in the dressing room and had an alternate come in, but yeah. it's just as well. But Igor is going to have his hands full with Coleman. Yes, he will. Coleman fights the way he fights. Like this first fight, he will.